Hi, welcome to Patio Homes. There's something wonderful about this neighborhood that I want to share. My name is Courtney Silverman. I know Weston. Check it out. In Patio Homes, you are close to playgrounds, schools, houses of worship, and of course, marketing at Country Ellis Plaza or the Weston Town Center. You'll find familiar names such as Publix, CVS, and Walgreens, banking, retail shops, and many wonderful Weston restaurants. It's a short walk to A-rated Country Isles Elementary School. The closest markets are in Town Center or Country Isles Plaza on Weston Road. There's easy access to your commute to work. You'll be on Royal Palm Boulevard with access to I-75 within 8 minutes. Patio Homes is an open neighborhood. The three sections of Patio Homes all share the private community pool to swim in sun. Eleven of the homes have private pools. In Patio Homes Phase 1, you'll find seven cul-de-sacs with six to eighteen homes. The green spaces behind the homes are maintained by the association. The Auburn is a two-bedroom, two-bath home with a one-car garage. The laundry room and all the models are located in the garage. There are four floor plans. You can tell the difference between the Brunswick and the Cambridge models by their garages. Both are three-bedroom homes. The Brunswick has an optional floor plan of using one of the garage spaces as a game room, so it has two entries. The Cambridge model has a single garage door serving the two spaces. The two-story Weston model has a primary bedroom on the first floor and on the second floor you'll find a loft and two bedrooms and a full bathroom with two sinks. A few of the Weston models have fireplaces. Here are some examples of the patios. Some on the water, some interior, and some that have been converted. Which of the flooring do you like best on these converted patios? In Patio Homes Phase 2, you'll find half of the 47 lots are waterfront and they're all located on Montpellier. Across the lake, you'll see Captiva Cay and Waterford Landing, neighborhoods also in Country Isles. You'll see beautiful wildlife, heron, egrets, cranes, and other wading birds. Egyptian goose and Muscovy ducks Remember, don't feed the ducks. Enough time has passed since the homes were built, so we are seeing many customized changes and upgrades. The homeowners have enclosed their screen patios for additional living space under air. They've added hurricane protection, and more homeowners are considering solar. We are seeing more fenced properties. I suspect it's because it's a dog-friendly community. In Patio Homes Phase 3, out of the 60 homes, a third of them are on the waterfront. This Auburn model is getting a new roof. The Homeowner Association fee in Patio Homes is $450 per quarter. The fee includes all of your lawn maintenance, irrigation, as well as common area maintenance of the private community pool, the entrance landscaping of the three sections of patio homes, and I wanted to let you know that they do have reserves and savings for maintaining the pool, mailbox, paving, storm fund, fences, cabana, cabana roof at the pool area, lake drains, storm drains, and capital improvements and special projects. For purchases, you also need to apply to the association. This takes 30 days. The approval is recorded with your deed after closing. Mostly, the rules include no street parking overnight, no commercial trucks, boats, or advertising on vehicles. Introduced to South Florida in 1987 by Arvida, JMB Partners Corp., Country Owls was the first subdivision and Patio Homes was the first neighborhood offered. 
All of the original model homes are located on Columbia in Patio Homes 1. Thank you so much for staying to see the end of the Patio Homes tour. Let's check out the next neighborhood in Country Isles. It's called the Oaks 1 and 2.